Normally about once a year my fire department practices setting up a landing zone for emergency medevac helicopters. So this time I decided to take my camera down there and record the landing. However, this time I was fortunate in that I got a couple minutes to speak with the pilot and ask him a couple questions. First question I asked him was, is he considered an emergency aircraft? Emergency aircraft are generally given priority when it comes to uh, flying through controlled airspaces. And my second question was, well, what happens when a helicopter loses power? Does it plummet to the ground? So enjoy the rest of the video. Certainly, uh, I ask a question or two. Uh, first question, when you're flying around with patients, are you considered an emergency aircraft technically? Or? You mean for aircraft control? Correct. Yeah, Do you have if priority? They can, if they can give us priority, they will. Okay. Um, it, it, it's usually not that much of a factor. I mean, we go okay. in and out of Teoboro a lot because Hackensack Hospital is right under the approach there. Right. But our, our flights are usually so short that you know, if we get delayed because they need us to go over the top of the runway instead of going direct to the hospital because you know there's lots of jets landing in there. Yes. You know, if it adds 30 seconds or a minute to our flight, it's usually not killing anybody. Okay. But yeah, technically, if we use uh, if we put medevac in front of our call sign, yes, um, they, give you they can give us priority if they can. But if they can't, they can't. One other quick question for you. Um, I've learned a little bit of, about helicopters through online. I initially thought that you know if a helicopter lost both its engines, it would just plummet to the ground, but um, due to more research, I guess yeah, there's a way to as long as, they, as, yes. long as you don't lose it, as long as the transmission doesn't freeze up, if the blades are spinning, you can auto rotate, which is basically you want to keep the blades spinning at you know 100 percent. And then um, what happens is as you get close to the ground, you get one pull to use up the energy that's in the blade because once you change the pitch on it, it's not taking big out of the air, that's gonna slow the blades down. Yes. So you kind of keep them spinning flat till you get close. Right. So you get one shot to slow yourself down. You go into a big flare, and usually you can. You know, we practice that. You can, you can land just about anywhere. And, and, and then you, safely. Do you turn up the collective as you get close to the ground? Well, you got one. But once you do that, you know, you've used it up. You, you're just going to settle. You, there's no more energy in it. Is that something you practice regularly? Or? Not regularly, but we practice it uh, occasionally. Okay. You know, I've done a lot. We don't do them that often in this helicopter. With, with, with twin engine helicopters, the odds of losing both engines are. Yeah, really, really rare. How much you run out of gas? If you lose so one, the if you lose one, one, you fly all day on the other one. All right. Now, with this helicopter, they advertise that in any uh, weight configuration that's legal to fly, if you lose an engine, you'll be able to go straight and level all day. You might not be able to climb, and you'll you know have a hell time at the bottom. So, if you lost an engine, what you do is find a long runway because you wouldn't have all the power to slow you down at the bottom. You know, you need a lot of power when you're slowing down. Yes. So you, you come in really narrow or really shallow and just run it on in the streets because you might not be able to come to a hover and then land. Right. So for single engine failures, um, some hydraulic emergencies and other things, if you lose the tail rotor, you end up just running around really fast, which is kind of fun. <laughs> Sounds like it. Okay. Yeah, there's another. There's another emergency that we have. It's called a FADEC. FADEC is this um, automated computer control of the engines. And if that thing fails, you're kind of in manual fuel situation. So that's another time where you, you kind of make believe you only have one engine. You just usually just slide it on. Right. Okay. Find a big long one. You don't need a lot of room, but you just want to give yourself enough room to play around with it. 
Ready? Yeah. All right, thank you. Appreciate it.